Hello and welcome to G Max Studios. My name is Gorky M, and thanks to Nikon India, we have got the new Nikon Z7 with us for a couple of days. So while it is not possible to do a full review, we are going to take a look at quite a few features and see how it does. So here is the first look. The Nikon Z7 has a 45.7 megapixel full frame sensor. Along with it, it has a fantastic EVF and 5 axis vibration reduction, which is built right into the body. Apart from that, the body is dust and drip resistant and it shoots 9 FPS. As far as video is concerned, it shoots 4K at 30 frames per second, 120 FPS at full HD. It shoots N-Log or Nikon Log and it also shoots 10-bit externally. What this camera does not have is a mirror because it's mirrorless. At this point of time, Nikon has just released three lenses with this camera, which is the 2470 f4s, 50mm 1.8 and 35mm 1.8. First, we wanted to see how well does the camera do with the existing F-mount lenses that we have been using on our DSLRs along with the FTZ adapter. Autofocus and face detect seems to work pretty well with both the native lens and the F-mount lenses as well. For this shoot, we paired the SU-800 Commander along with SB-900 and 910 flashes to see whether they are compatible or not. The answer is yes, they are compatible and they work pretty much seamlessly with the new Nikon Z7. We shot with the same combination both indoor as well as outdoors. With this camera, Nikon has introduced pinpoint autofocus, which is very helpful for achieving critical focus on an object or subject. Philip Bloom will be very pleased to know that the autofocus works on cats as well. also capable of silent photography where the camera does not make any sound at all. Now let's talk about video. The Nikon Z7 can shoot 4K at 30 FPS. Full HD at 120 FPS, N log or Nikon log. It can also shoot 10 bit via an external recorder. Now let's see the difference between 8 bit, 10 bit, and N log files. Since it is pretty difficult to make out the difference, on YouTube, 
you can download all these files and some of the photographs from the links given in the description below. You can use the touch screen on the Z7 to play back and zoom into photographs, scroll through menus and also shift focus. Next, we are going to head outdoors to test the various functions of this camera using both the native and the F-mount lenses with the adapter. This is capable of shooting at 9 frames per second. We also shot a couple of time lapses using both the modes available on this camera. Interval timer shooting. And time lapse movie. We took the Z7 out to test the vibration reduction function which is built into the camera. For this, we used the extremely scientific method of driving a car on Mumbai roads. The Nikon Z7 has a mount diameter of 55mm making it one of the largest mounts in existence today. What this will allow Nikon to do is make faster glass. So in case if you're wondering why did Nikon not really have an array of 1.2 lenses like some other companies do, this was the reason. And now they will be able to make fast lenses which they have already announced. Out of them, the 58 0.95 Noct is going to be a killer. Talking about the XQD card in the Z7, which only has a single slot. Do I wish there was a second slot? Yes. Does the presence of only a single card slot make this camera a no-no for me? No. So that's it as far as the Nikon Z7 first look is concerned. We just hope that we get this camera for an extended period so that we can put it through its spaces and do an extensive review. For more videos like this on photography and filmmaking, do subscribe to our channel GMAX Studios and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.